Yo, what's good, everyone? It's your boy. Today's video, I'm so excited. Pledge of the Magicians are back. Let's. That wasn't exactly supposed to happen, but I don't care. Goodbye, my stack, let's go. So today's video, I'm gonna showcase you guys the absolute best way to play pendulums. And I'm telling you right now, Joker to two and Iris to three change a lot. Pendulum magicians are officially the best way to play pendulums. And honestly, it's not even close. Pendulum is back. So to commemorate this absolutely beautiful, beautiful moment in history, I, for a limited time only, for the next 48 hours only, I'm gonna release the official magician playmat will be back in stock for the next 48 hours only. I'm literally reordering it just for this occasion. Shout out to my boy Marcus Oliveira, the best artist ever, to do this beautiful magician reenactment here. So get your playmats right now. Literally, probably gonna be sold out in two hours. So get your ASAP while you can. They will only be a limited time only. Get it right now. With that being said, let's get started, boys. Let's get started. It's time for Pendulum Magicians return to the meta. Let's go. I'm gonna showcase exactly why this deck is absolutely broken. So in this combo tutorial and deck profile at the end of the video. So you guys need to stay tuned to all of the whole video to witness the greatness. I'm gonna be showing some cards here and a deck list that I've never shown before. And it's the realization that Skulker by Joker does wonders for this deck. Same with the consistency of Double Iris. So for starters, you're literally playing three Celestial Magician. And like I said, you need to stay tuned to the end of the video to actually figure out exactly why. But the fact that this adds Joker at the end phase and the fact that you have double joker so even when you use joker on turn one you get a second joker on turn two i can't stress enough how important this is because pendulum now officially have the best follow-up they could they've ever had ever so i'm gonna fast forward my way through here and then showcase you guys just a basic combo look at our hand do we have access to, like do we have access despite the fact that this hand being very consistent like does do we have any harmonizing magicians here do we have any harmonizing magicians here no we literally we don't have harmonizing magician how could you how can you combo with the harmonizing with the trip shut the hell up i'm going to show you guys exactly why so here it is a combo here you got to play three tuning magicians and please don't play dark worm in your deck or curtain razor every single form of pendulum magician that you guys are going to see in the next three months is going to be some variation that i've built of this exact list every list you guys have ever seen on youtube so far is literally just my exact list if you're on the pendulum magician facebook group they're all exactly literally my list with like taking out one card so you guys don't understand the theory behind the list, which is why I'm making this video. So people can actually understand the theory behind all these cards and why you're doing them. So you don't want to be playing Dark Room, Curtain Razor, nothing. Because it conflicts with literally the best, car best card in your deck, Tuning Magician. The fact that you're playing all Magicians and Scales, this is not only an extender, but it's also a Tuner Extender. So we're going to go ahead and summon another one with Needle Fiber. We're going to go Selena Special, another one. If they hatch up Needle Fiber, you literally don't give a flying fuck. The only reason Needle Fiber is there, just to make an Appaloosa. Now we're going to do an actual combo, baby. Appaloosa is just there to protect from hand traps. It gives this deck, like, some hand trap proof that before it was kind of missing. So in this version here, if they hand trap the Needle Fiber, we don't care whatsoever. We go into an Appaloosa. So now we know our actual play is safe. We don't have Harmonizing, so our end board won't be the best, like, as it could be. But it's still going to be enough to win. And then we're going to go Dagda here and a Tornado Dragon. So because Appaloosa protects, we're fine. We're going to use Oath to add, and then we're going to go Tornado Dragon to pop the Scythe. Since Double Iris got popped, you can now add the Pendulum Graph. And also, just so you guys are aware, if you already have access to Pendulum Graph, we all also play one Black Fang. Black Fang Magician was a card I had not played for a long time. But now that Double Iris is at three, and we're really focusing on destroying our, like, popping our scales, having one Black Fang is very good now. Because now you can also special back to Celestial if you want to, to go further. But this is all you really need. You're going to get the Pendulum Graph here. I'm going to Optical wiz uh, Wisdom Might into another Double Iris. So Pendulum Graph can pop this Double Iris to get another Pen Graph for me. And now your Appaloosa is protected with the Scythe and Tornado Dragon. We had no Harmonizing whatsoever in our hand. If we had a Harmonizing Magician, then we'd also have a Boral Savage Dragon to protect this. But this is more than enough for game. End Phase, this is why playing Triple Celestial is so damn important. Celestial Magician actually equals the exact same plus as a Harmonizing Magician does. Because Harmonizing Magician will special out a random level 4 monster, while Celestial adds you a Skulker by Joker to do provide you with what literally your deck is missing and a follow-up. So now you have your perfect scale set up, you have Joker, you're going to get a follow-up from Pengraph from Popping Iris, and your opponent's not playing whatsoever, because you're going to be able to pop the site. Typically you have the Savage as well, we just don't have it for this hand. Appaloosa protects everything as well, and then you have Pengraph pops, like, this is literally like a bad hand, 
and we still have like a like, bad hand in terms of power but we still have literally an unbreakable board here with the best follow-up so now that you guys understand more of the theory i'm going to discuss different parts of the theory in the deck list i'm going to be showing you guys two different deck lists here because i love you guys and because pen is the motherfucking best deck so if you guys got this far i want you guys to smash the like button and subscribe button and mainly i want you guys to also comment down below exactly what i'm about to say baby and that is pen best deck except don't say it with a screech like you're four years old passing through puberty because that's the age i passed through puberty look at my fucking beard now i'm going to showcase the deck list let's go this is my official deck list that i'm going to be using for the first weeks of the new ban list the reason the big thing you're going to witness here is there's not many extenders the reasoning behind extenders are not important is that performed by pendulum sorcerer is the best extender you ever need you don't need extenders i'd prefer consistency i'd prefer guaranteed ensuring no matter what you have your double iris play set up you have black bang set up you have Ove set up wisdom i in conjunction adding every turn with celestial these top 20 cards are so insane that words don't even describe they're probably the best 20 cards in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh. so before i played chronograph and time gazer and more souls that gives you nine extenders you don't need it anymore because joker and wisdom i are also extenders in its own path but they also get you your double iris the fact that now you're just playing a max consistency deck I don't, you don't need the tuners you don't need to put up appalooza before the pen summon and you have that with tuning and souls you could do that during your pen summon, during your after your pen summon simply because no one plays nibiru anymore you have four cards to be nibiru proof and if you do want to play around nibiru i'm going to show you a second deck list where it all depends on the meta last meta nobody main decked nibiru if people decide to start main decking nibiru rather than playing this deck list we're going to do a little switch and we're going to do we're going to change our deck a little no one's playing nibiru right now but if they did this is the list we'll be playing in this list we have extra extenders with chronograph sorcerer as well chronograph ensures an extra special summon not only by special summoning a time gazer but actually by joker or wisdom eye getting the wisdom eye and then when wisdom eye gets destroyed you special a chronograph also going second chronograph could special itself with the effects of double iris black fang and purple poison by their own destruction effects so that comes up a hell of a lot especially when you're trying to get extra monsters in the field to do damage going second personally they're all they're both very good lists this one only plays celestial ultimately i would say that if you guys have if you guys aren't very very skilled with the deck i'd recommend playing this one this one is is more better for like i wouldn't say noobs but like new players that want to learn this deck this version is better because the extenders help you play through more things the other version is better if you really know how to manage your resources because ultimately it will get you the most consistent and absolutely best plus but this way plays through interruptions a little better to make it easier for new players or returning players or guys that aren't very familiar, people that aren't very familiar with the best deck so uh, and i want to showcase you guys a side deck and extra deck which is the exact same for both if for those wondering this version can play one pen graph because you could brick on them sometimes but the other version as you guys see over here is despite the fact it's playing double pen graph and not many extenders it has more utility and more more plus and the pen graph idea behind it is you have to be understanding with this list that there will be some hands where you end on dweller and pen graph but the thing is that's enough to win the thing you guys understand about pen graph how insane it is is not only does it pop every single turn but you get it for free every turn with double iris you have so many ways to pop the double iris now i'm going to discuss something very important if you guys are still watching you need to understand what i'm about to say right now popping double iris is the biggest problem that you could possibly think of with this deck because there's no electrum right that's at least what you're thinking but in actuality it's incredibly easy to pop double iris if you already have access to wisdom oath and iris within your scales or do some lines to search iris whatever it may be your joker should search sork a lot of the time and then or alliance can search sork you have eight ways to perform about pendulum sorcerer utilize it utilize this card to the best of its ability and pop your double iris whenever need be act use the effect of tornado dragon as you guys saw tornado dragon is huge there the only scenarios where you do not pop your double iris is because pen call it could the, the conversation can be had to play one pen call or instead of three pen call because you don't want your, your scales to be destroyed but pen call is still so inherently insane that it makes your bad hands great hands that it's still mandatory to play a three it does lose more to drill and lockbird but that's fine because i'm going to explain how to play through drill and lockbird now as well the best way to play around droll is very simply if you start with pen call desires or alliance you instantly use desires or pen call first the plus that you get from desires your pen call even if your opponent trolls you after you literally just don't give a fuck and if you have dual slimes going second and you don't and like it's your only spell don't search for pen call search for pen graph time pen graph that way after they troll you they just wasted a card for nothing because your actual extra deck combo does not give a fuck about droll and droll does nothing to this deck 
In fact, Dark Ruler does nothing to this deck either. And Dark Ruler hurts the new way to play Drytron a little bit more than before. So now, like a lot of people I think will be playing Dark Ruler and Droplets and stuff like that. Well, the only thing that stops your combo is Droplets. And even then, you don't care if they have Droplets. Because you're still going to have so many negates and they're going to have four cards in hand. So they're still fucked. And what I'm trying to say is Penbest deck. Uh, so the, X, the side deck, I'm going to do a whole video on what I'm about to mention, okay? When Quasa Designator gets released in a week, hand traps will be fucking dog shit. Even more dog shit than they already are. Why the fuck are you going to play pendul uh, hand traps when you know for a fact every deck is going to have three Quasa Designator and a Call by the Grave and talents? You're going to have all these seven cards in people's main decks and you're going to play hand traps still? What the hell? Why don't you make those seven cards useless for your opponent? Make them dead for the rest of the entire duel. And instead, play Sphere Mode, Lava Golem, Dark Ruler. Draw one of these nine against any combo deck, you auto win. Drytron, nice Ava in your hand, bro. It would be a shame if I Sphere mode your ass and Ava would never hit the graveyard. Anyways, and then on top of that, you don't need to call it by the grave. No hand trap hurts this deck. No hand trap hurts this deck. Except Nibiru if you don't draw an extender. But no one plays Nibiru anymore. And extender, like, like... I don't give a fuck about Ash, Valor, Imperm, even Droll I don't care about. So there's no reason to play Call by a Cross of Designator for yourself. Instead, play cards that absolutely obliterate back row decks. So now you have 9 auto win versus combo, 6 auto win versus trap decks. Just pull out, pull out the handshake emoji. Take the handshake emoji out of your phone and literally just send it to your opponent. Because the duel was over before it started. Extra deck. Dag the double fiber, double saline, Apple's access code. You need double fiber. You need one Needle Fiber for turn one for your uh, offensively for Appaloosa. So Needle Fiber, Selene, Appaloosa. And then you're going to need another Needle Fiber for going second. Where you go Needle Fiber, Selene, Access Code. Very important. XYZs, you got Dweller, Tornado, Time Star. And then the reason you're playing Chak and Borbo is because with two level fours, when you see that all you got to do is attack directly, it, you want to have a four material Zeus. So with two XYZs, two random level fours, let's say for example, one Harmonizing Magician equals a four material Zeus. So that attacks directly. So you go Chakanine on top of the Harmonizing and like Purple Poison, and then you just uh, go into Borbo, attack directly, then slap on a Zeus, clear the whole board, and then typically, or let's say if you have a Celestial in, in transition somewhere, you add Joker at the end phase, so you have your follow-up, and you have a double material Zeus to make sure you're safe, and then you kill them. Very important to play Zeus in this deck. Then you play one TG Warner Magician, Simply because of the Needle Fiber. Needle Fiber, sometimes you, if you want, you would prefer Needle Fiber to stay on the field. Especially if their needle fiber, if your Needle Fiber gets hand trapped. Typically, the best route is to go TG Wonder Magician. So you do need to play one of these for Needle Fiber to bring a Wonder Magician on the, on your turn. When Baronis the Floor comes out, this deck will be absolutely tier tier zero. Baronis the Floor is mandatory in this deck. It's not out yet. And then one Savage. The deck's absolutely insane. And I'm telling you right now, this deck is tier one. I'm not saying this because... Pen best deck, pen best deck, bro. I'm not just saying it for that. No, this is absolute matter of fact. This deck is tier one. And if you don't think so, you just don't understand pendulums. You just don't understand Yu-Gi-Oh! And you're a moron. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want you to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Check out the beautiful magician playmats down in the description below. Because they're only going to be available for about 48 hours. Also, check out the Patreon for an extra pendulum discussion video. Check out all the links below in the coaching. And lastly... Pen best deck, baby. See you in the next video. Peace.